Hi guys, I'm going to attempt to make a very quick New York City shopping haul. I went on a family vacation to Manhattan for a week in August. By the way, summer in New York City, I was really kind of dreading it. I thought that it would be super humid, muggy, stinky, but it was actually super great. Like I've only ever been in the city in the fall, but autumn is when New York is at its most beautiful weather-wise, but terrible people-wise, because that is when all of the tradespeople come visit for like fashion week, design week. And summer is when nobody comes to the city except for like the very few tourists, such as myself. But most of, you know, like the locals with money are not around because they're all traveling. <laughs> and because this was a family vacation, it was my husband and son's first time in New York. So we did a lot of touristy things and I was really dreading the crowds, but there was, I mean, for New York standards, it was practically empty. So from now on, I only want to visit the city during the summertime. Anyway, what did I buy when I was in the city? Let's start with this lipstick. This is a Dries Van Noten Mother's Day limited edition case. The way Dries Van Noten lipsticks work is you purchase the lipstick separately and you purchase the case separately and it's refillable so once you're done you can purchase another color or the same color and just put it back in. You can mix and match the top and bottom colors but this was like a Mother's Day limited edition case that I did not own. I was walking through Bergdorf, the iconic Bergdorf Goodman, looking for a bathroom. Saw that they had a counter there with this case in stock a beauty YouTuber? Who is she? I couldn't pass it up. It's just one of those travel purchases that becomes an everyday item in your everyday life. That's what I'm wearing now. It's gorgeous! I love a good red lipstick. I love Dries Van Noten lipsticks. The formulas are so good. I always buy the matte ones and they feel so creamy. They're pricey, but I love them. Another like everyday purchase that I just happened to make in the city <laughs> are these Muji like large sized facial wipes. I love the size of these wipes. Wipes? No cotton pads. I love the size of these cotton pads. I use them for cleansing. I soak a pad in toner or essence and I like to place each one over each cheek and a forehead. And the closest Muji to me is in Santa Monica, which I would sooner fly to Manhattan and just walk over to a Muji to buy one then drive over to Santa Monica. That's just that's just part of LA living, If in case you didn't know. Hmm. What else? I met the lovely Sophie of Biblio Sophie, and she had an errand to run, which was to purchase more tea from her go-to tea shop, which is Sullivan Street Tea and Spice Company. Super cute tea shop in the village. I love these tea tins that look like this. So I just got the Cream Earl Grey, which apparently has a delectable vanilla twist. I love buying things that come in containers where once you're done using the original product, you can reuse the container for other random things like, for example, <laughs> I just got one of these Japanese peach drinks and when I was finished and after cleaning it, use it as a, a vase for some fake flowers. So this is probably going to have a very similar future. What's next? Well, I had an iced tea from the Ralph's Coffee, not the cafe, but from the coffee bus <laughs> that's on fifth i think super cute um i wish they had their green hat but they didn't they only had the white one which i didn't really want so i bought the tote bag instead which looks like this <laughs> it's nice and lightweight good medium size i love this logo i am so agog with this ralph's coffee like side business that they've got going on. Don't really know what it's about, but I'm here for it. I also fully intend to use this tag as a bookmark. I use a lot of shopping tags as bookmarks. The other tote bag that I purchased is from the, the New York Public Library. They had a couple different colors, but I bought this blue one because I do like the color blue. 
And because the blue one has this great Fran Lebowitz quote, think before you speak, read before you think. Again, I love this like smallish, medium size, and it's even got this inner pocket, which is really nice. And because this is a little bit of a thicker weave of canvas, it'll be nice and durable for using it all day. The other thing that I purchased from the New York Public Library is this desk calendar. I love calendars. <laughs> I've said so many times that I personally, single-handedly, keep the physical calendar industry in business. <laughs> There's just something so charming about having something like this, like something personal, something that is a memento from somewhere you traveled or something that you like, a hobby of yours that sits on your desk every day that you can look at instead of your screen. And yeah, did you know that the New York Public Library has a gift shop? It's like there's a, the old original NYPL that's not like a real library, like the real library is actually across the street. And the old one with like the ornate pillars in the front, it looks like a museum, is actually a museum. Hence why they have a gift shop, which turned out to be one of my favorite gift shops I visited. And of course I made sure to visit some bookstores because my, my souvenirs are bookmarks from the bookstores. And I wanted so much to have a bookmark from the public library that they actually don't have one in the bookshop. Instead they have a library stamp that if you purchase a book, and I did, I bought Joan Didion's Let Me Tell You What I Mean. I still have yet to read a Joan Didion. So this was one of the few adult books that they had for sale that I wanted to purchase just so I could get this stamp. <laughs> and how cool, how great is that? So that is one book that I purchased from a library gift shop. <laughs> some bookstores. I visited the McNally Jackson that was like closest to my hotel off of, I want to say it was, it was the store right across from the Nintendo store, <laughs> which is pretty random, but makes sense. And that McNally Jackson also had a goods for the study off to the side where I purchased really randomly this letterpress letter set. Just because I like the colors and <laughs> I always try to buy whatever letter sets I really like so that I have them on hand whenever I need to write a letter. They also had some of these knot and bow gift tags in this pink color that I haven't seen so purchase that as well. Again, these are two purchases from a trip that are really more for, for my everyday life. And also from that McNally Jackson, I got The Oppermans ooh, by Leon Futschwanger. Beg pardon for my German. I believe this is a recent McNally Jackson edition. I recall seeing it when it first came out and was very intrigued. So I kind of made a mental note to keep my eye on this. So it was a great pleasure to purchase it in store and this is the McNally Jackson bookmark which I have to say is quite flimsy it's almost like regular paper stock but I'll take it I also went to another McNally Jackson I want to say it was in the village which was actually the first McNally Jackson store that I went into and this is the book that I purchased from there I have yet to read a Natalia Ginsburg but I already own several Natalia Ginsburgs so she is going to be the writer for me to read at the top of my list for 2024. And I love this cover by Cecily Brown. Cecily Brown had an ex exhibition at the Met when I was there. So it all kind of just tied in. It was a sign that I had to purchase this. One of my favorite, absolute favorite things to do in Manhattan is to walk around the village, really just walk around anywhere. TBH, I'm really a midtown area gal, but just walking through the village, walking through Soho, any bookstore in the vicinity, just walk in. <laughs> it would be a great bookstore. So one of my favorite bookstores is Housing Works. It's a nonprofit used bookstore. And that is where I found these three books. I haven't read them. It's really just a Graham Swift. I know that he wrote Mothering Sunday, so I'm just going to try it and see what I think about him. I really like Aziz Ansari. I don't have any of these orange penguin spine books at all. I've heard of Modern Romance. Again, another book that I had my eye on to be like on the lookout for. And I found an Ann Patchett that I don't already own. I haven't really heard about, so I grabbed her too. Did Housing Works not have a bookmark? <laughs> 
This is my Dries Van Noten shopping bag from my lipstick purchase that I just stuffed all of my paper <laughs> paraphernalia in. Plus this like random wooden fork from, from Lucy, this like really good cake shop in the East Village. It was like the top of my list bakery <laughs> that I had to visit. I ate their chocolate cake in the hotel bed watching watching Seinfeld. It was perfect. But yeah, oh my god, I don't think I got a bookmark from Housing. Oh, but next door to from Lucy, the cake shop is my favorite stationery store in the world that I order from online all the time. It's super cute inside. If you're in New York, if you're in the village, I highly recommend stopping by to both from Lucy and Nico Neko Zakaya, which is which are right next door to each other. So I stopped in and just got this roll of PET tape. In one of these? I don't think so. Oh! I did! <laughs> I found it! This is the bookmark from Housing Works. But probably my favorite used bookstore in the village is Codex Books, where I found a Kazuo Ishiguro. What is this, nonfiction? Oh no, it's fiction. It was shortlisted for the booker, which really means nothing to me because I don't pay attention to literary prizes, but whatever, an artist of the floating world. And I also picked up Bodega Dreams by Ernesto Quinones. I was chatting with Kat about wanting to visit a bodega. Like ever since I read Permanent Record by Mary H.K. Choi, which is heavily set in a New York City bodega. And you know, I'm, I'm a midtown, mid-range, sit-down restaurant kind of gal, both by nature and in circumstance, I guess. But I wanted to try a bodega while I was there this time. And alas, I didn't get to do so. It just means I can go back again and try next time. But instead of visiting a bodega and becoming a regular of theirs for a week, <laughs> I found a bodega book. A bodega novel, so it will have to do until next time. So I asked the really nice girl working at Codex that day if they had a bookmark, and unfortunately they were out at the time, and they would be getting more in like in the following couple weeks, but when I told her that I was a tourist and I won't be around by then, she was so nice and gave me like their, like their gift card instead. So this works. I mean, I already have a bookmark from Codex from the last time I was there, but highly appreciated. And <laughs> I got I got this, what do you call it, an ad from when I was in Video Games New York, which had so many retro gaming stuff. The store in itself was basically like a museum of its own, unto itself. Oh, and this is the business card for Nico Neko Zakaya. It's so cute. I love when stores take care in designing these. Things like this really matter. The other big store that I always make sure to visit is the MoMA Design Store in Soho. There's so many things to look at. And from there, I, I mean, I see this all the time, but I just decided to get it. Another everyday purchase made while on vacation. But I got these Hay short straws, cocktail glass straws, which I figure was the perfect size for one of these size glasses. <laughs> I also purchased this MoMA magnet and this Eames deck of playing cards because I also happen to collect playing cards. So the sides look like this. <laughs> and the faces look like this. Playing cards are so fun to collect, guys. Like, I'm gonna try to insert some of my collection really randomly in this New York haul video. <laughs>
And then I also got this, one of these pens, like you've seen them around, you don't have to get it from the MoMA design store, but it's the flower pen <laughs> that I got in yellow. Not gonna lie, <laughs> this is so floppy. <laughs> this is so floppy, but not gonna lie, I mainly really bought this because I've been kind of obsessed with new jeans and they use this pen or like a version of this pen. <laughs> I don't think theirs is this floppy, but they use this pen when they record their songs to like stay on beat. Cool with you. Oh my god. Cool with you. This is so weird. This is too floppy. I can't. Okay. And another very touristy thing that I did, I went to Chelsea Market and I bought, again, really random things that are just everyday things that I would normally buy every day. <laughs> but I bought this wheat flavored Kit Kat, which I've long since eaten. I bought this tube of chestnut paste, which I've never tried, but I've seen, I've known the existence of for years, have been very curious by it. If you already eat this, let me know the best way to eat it or your favorite way to eat it. I figured I would just put it on toast, squeeze it on top of vanilla ice cream, pretend I'm European. And I bought these two little ceramic dishes that are so cute. And I figured I could use them for whatever. And last but not least, we cannot forget about magnets because I am from a family that does collect traveling magnets. Traveling magnets? Travel magnets. Tourist magnets? Like this. <laughs> I'm giving this to my mother. My husband picked out this magnet because our son loved riding the subway. He bought like two t-shirts from the subway the subway store. There's like a subway museum and it has a gift, gift store in like Fidei. Super random. And my pick was <laughs> this Christmas ornament that is Santa working a New York City hot dog stand. <laughs> I mean, I can't pass this up. <laughs> I also purchased this matcha sable cookies from the Dominique Ganzel Bakery to give to my mom. I also got a chocolate babka from Essa Bagel to eat like the morning after we arrived home for breakfast. That was nice. Long gone now. So that is it. That's everything that I bought in New York. <laughs> Yep, yep, that's everything. That's everything that delighted this Ajma's shopping whims from the big city. Let me know what your favorite thing to buy in New York City is, what your favorite souvenir to collect from your travels is in general. I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.